How you doing everybody? This is uh, Simon from uh, Camping Simon and I just want to do a uh, quick review of my uh, new backpack. Um, I have the uh, the Low Alpine Cerro Torre 6585 liter. Um, awesome pack, I used it once. There's a lot of functions on it. There's a few fun uh, I'm still learning all the, about all the functions on it but I got pretty much the gist of it. Um, starting off with the shell itself, uh, Low Alpine has the um, Tress Shield Enhanced Durability uh, shell, which is awesome. Um, it actually uh, repels the water. Um, it was raining a bit when I took it out the first time and the water just bubbled up and just ran right off of it, which is excellent. And it's very strong and very lightweight. But anyways, uh, let's start on the bottom. Um, it does actually come with its own... Um, Ring cover, which is awesome. Uh, right here on the bottom, and up there, and your rain flag is right in there, which is awesome. That's pretty cool. Has a logo right on it, red or orange. That's pretty cool. Orange is my favorite color, and that just tucks right back in there, just like that, which is pretty cool. I love it. And then here on the bottom, you undo these buckles here. Buckles here. You have your bottom pocket, which is right here, and which what I keep is my sleeping bag. I have it all right in there. And you can actually, there's a bit more room in there. You can put something else if you want, something small. And that just zips up. Um, these zippers are really good. They're really awesome. They're, um, they have these unique little shapes, little handles on it. I don't know if you can see that, but everything is uh, colored uh, outline. Like everything is in orange. You can see everything, which is awesome. I love that. Um, moving up here. Um, okay, let's go on the side. Actually, let's start on the side. You have your cinch cinch straps right here, just to squeeze it in, just to squeeze all your stuff in there. Um, you have your pocket here on the side. Here. You have your pocket here. It's pretty deep actually. You know, you can put your water bottle, of course, and you can put all your little gadgets and things like that and stick it all in there. I don't like things hanging, like cups and people have cups and pans and things like that. Dang, 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 you're walking all over the place and you got these. I'm not into that. I put everything in my pack. I either it's in a pocket or it's directly right inside. No dangling. Don't like that. Anyways, moving on. Um, here's another scent side uh, compression strap right here and uh, let's start off with side pocket right here which is very good uh, very deep I just keep my uh, uh, bacho lap um, bacho saw right in there tucks right in there the pocket is pretty deep you can put your whole arm in there but you can put other stuff in there as well and on the other side it has the exact same thing compression straps right here undo that and there's a compression oops okay right there pocket right here and then of course what do i and there's another side pocket what do i have in here toothbrush toothpaste you know i just stick it in there seems like I, oh i got my light in there my headlamp is in there as well so very good and moving on okay you Undo these straps here. This one's already done. This is the top portion of the low alpha. This that's a pocket itself right there. This here actually comes off, and then you can actually use this as a uh, day pack or or something or whether you can uh, strap it on to your uh, waist. But it does have its pocket right on the top. It's very deep. That is. Right now, I just have my water bottle in there. My raincoat is in there. Um, also, Low Alpine gives you extra straps. So if you want to strap on a pair of cross-country skis or snowshoes or something like that, you can strap it right. They give you the straps, along with a uh, key clip or anything. You can clip anything you want. That just tucks right in there. Very good. And that zips up like... And then on the inside of the uh, top pack, you have another sleeve pocket where you can probably put your map and whatnot. You can stick anything you want, first aid, whatever you want in there. 
just like that. Now, on the front, which is very cool, you want to do the zippers right here. It has a front pocket. Now, this pocket here enables you to get access to anything you want on the inside of your bag. It's my footprint right there for the tent, socks, tent right there, scarf, that's the water blabber. Just like that. So it, it, it's actually very good because, like, you know, anything you need really quick, you lay it down. Instead of going through the top, trying to get it, you come in this side, which is very, very convenient. And that just zips up just like that. Put that in there. I love these zips. These zips are awesome. Once they close, you don't get any water going in there. And actually, right on the face itself, I'm going to do this pocket here. You got another pocket right in here. In this pocket here, you can put your map or you can put, uh, you know, whatever. Stick it in there. Just like that. Okay. Now, um, it does have uh, hiking pole straps. It's, uh, it's actually modified for an actual uh, hiking pole. You see right here, right, it has these... Uh, bungee straps so the hiking pole goes through here tighten it up and you can actually unhook it like that so if you don't want to uh, you know keep tightening it and it's easy access which is very good and you can just very uh, but uh, stretch you can just stretch it out and whatnot ah, that's awesome and this comes right out actually you can actually take it right out and once you put your pole down it goes into another hoop which is right there and then the tip of your hiking pole goes inside a tip holder I'm not too sure the proper name of what they call it but let me just see if you can get a close-up on that I'm not too sure if you can see that but there it is you put your tip of the hiking pole right inside there which is very cool and there's one on this side too right there right there Cool, very cool. Handles. There's a handle here, handle here. You just pick it up like that. Very strong. Now, let's go on the top portion right here. Another strap here. Buckle. Opened it up. Right now, it's in the 65 liter mode. I don't have a full to the top. But if you want it at 85 mode, uh, 85 liter, there you go. That gives you your 85 liter right there. And then if you're not doing the 85 liter, you just tuck that right back in like that. But open it up like this. Open it up like so. Like that. And then now you have your access on the top. Um, H2O. Your bladder is right here. Just like that. This is pretty cool because this comes off. This comes off and this acts as a camel back because you have your straps right here that you strap on your your back. And that acts as a camel back. The zip is here on the top. Tube comes out. Hole access is right there. And then onto your main strap. Which is very cool. And that just tucks right back in there. Like so. But as you, as you can see, the a lot of space, a lot of space in here. And of course, if you, you're putting your food, right now I don't have any food in here, so chances are I'm putting it right here. So look at all the room I got. That's awesome. And I can put more in there. And then you have your strap here, which closes it right in there for you. Somewhere here, can't find it. Oh, right here. There we go. That just clamps on, like so. Just like that, and then the top portion goes right over. Now turning it around, there, there's the back portion, right here. Okay, um, your straps. Let's start with your straps. Of course, you have your strap here with your water access. This is the Osprey. I got the Osprey water. I forget what you call it. I think it's just called Osprey, but this is awesome because it does come with a little magnet that you can put on the strap. I just don't have it on there now, but this is excellent. And, um, of course, 
your buckle right here that just buckles right there and then you know your standard whistle right here kind of let me see Shh. Just like that and then that comes off like so straps are awesome very comfortable very foamy soft um, at the end of your straps on the bottom portion of your hip your hip straps you have your side pack pockets for anything you want to put in there these pockets are very big actually you can put your i have a note 4 which is a big thing it's like a major ipad actually but it's called a phablet it fits right in there perfect i love it zip it up and then there's another one on the other side too just right there you can zip it up and these come off see they have velcro see right here on the side they have the velcro and these and there's a strap here and these things come right off and they act as a fanny pack Excellent. Now, the actual back portion, which is awesome, um, once it's on your back, it has these grids on here, and that allows air to go through so your back isn't sweaty all the time. And then your lumbar right here on your lower back, which is awesome. Now, uh, Low Alpine has the Axiom uh, back system. Now, what they designed is a system where once you have it on, you have these straps here on the side, which are right here. And this strap here on the right, you pull and hold, and it releases a mechanism on the inside and allows these two straps to move up and down once it's on your shoulders. So you can actually tighten it while you're on the run, walk, or whatever. And then this one here on the left releases it. So when you're on the, when you're on the go, on the hike, you know, you feel that the pack is kind of loose, undo the mechanism on the left you pull it and that cinches it onto your shoulders a lot snugger which is great I think it's an awesome idea and that's your Axiom uh, back system and uh, and at the same time you have your straps here on the top to snug in the top on top of your uh, shoulders so all in all it's a great pack I love it it looks awesome um, there's probably other features on here that I'm forgetting of course but uh, all in all, um, you know, and there's another com compression strap. This pack is awesome. Um, I'm going on a four-day hike, and that's probably the, uh, that's the main reason I got this. I took it out for a day hike. It's a little bit too big just for a day hike. I bought it mainly for long-distance hikes, and I'm going up to Killarney for four days, so I'm going to see how um, it works that way. But with everything in this right now, with my gear, it's uh, 20 pounds. Which is good because I want to. I haven't put the food in there yet, so I don't want to. I'm looking at around maybe 23, 24 pounds. That's where I want to be. I don't want to go past 25 pounds, so I'm trying to go as light as possible. Buckle there, and uh, oop, where's my other buckle? I think that's it right there. Fucker buckle there. Also another buckle there and buckle there. A lot of buckles, I should say. A lot of buckles, but that's good though. I'm just giving you an idea of how it all buckles together. Closes, actually. Just like that. Everything just gets cinched down. Like so. And then you got your compression straps right here. Closes up like this. Just give you an idea of how much you can close that in there. Close that in there. Turn it around. Okay. Compression strap. Compression strap right here. Like so. That gets tight in there. And compression sack. Just like that. Put this on the top. I like it on the top. And like it's like it's cinched down. Like there. Cinch. Cinch. And I'm good to go. Off I go. Just give you an idea of it on my back. Like this. Here we go. 
big buckle, chest buckle, and I should add on here, this here is an elastic, so you have that play, it stretches, so you don't have it like uh, jamming right inside of your chest, that actually, that actually stretches, which is very good, I like that, and of course, your water straw, which I do have a magnet, it just goes right on there, so it'll look like that, sorta. Like so. So anyways, that's what pretty much what it looks like when it's on my back. Give you an idea. I'm on my knees, but and then of course you have your you have your tightening straps, which are right here. Right? I don't know if you can see that, but Pull it, releases the mechanism, pull down, that just tightens on your shoulder, and then you let go. There, I am good to go. I am good to go. Excellent pack, feels very light, but um, I still haven't got my food in there, so once the food goes in there, it'll be a little bit uh, heavier, but that's okay. That's okay. So anyways, hopefully you like this video. And, uh, and it was helpful if you're in, in the market for a low alpine. I'm a low pine fanatic, I guess you can say. And just like that, the Cerro Torre, low alpine Cerro Torre, 6585 liter. Thank you for watching. Post comments or any other ideas and things like that or other features on here if you're a low pine uh, um, owner and there's something on here that I missed uh, put a comment down that'd be great because I'm just starting as well so anyways thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later thank you